Every time you think you know, unknow. <sighs> when you know, you're the thinker. When you don't know, you drop deeper into being. You get to actually know that which is beyond the knower. So relinquish all knowledge. Give knowledge back to the experiencer. Sure, the body-mind has accumulated knowledge, has learned a lot of things, has discerned a lot of things, has a lot of information stored in its capacity to know. But that's not your pride. It's not yourself. Give it back to that. It belongs to the body. The body was born, it studied, read books, it was exposed to other stupid people, and it learned a lot of non-valuable information with which it then covered its true identity, its true self, its true freedom, its true bliss. Uncover yourself by opening the mind completely, giving up all knowledge, all attachment to knowledge. Everything you know is based on location. How much knowledge do you have that's not based on location? Well, World War II was from this day to this day. Location. I love kitty cats. Location. I love my wife. Location. I've got this awesome library around the corner. Location. I know how to do business. Location. I don't like what's in my bank account. Location. Location is the cause of all tension and sorrow. Fuck location. And the police won't even arise. <clears throat> Drop all knowledge and location will go too, because that's based on the knower. It's based on the subject. Over and over again, feel the subject that you have associated yourself with for so long, which is another way of saying the lower I am, the locational-based awareness. That sense of me, that sense of subject, feel it, notice it, accept it, don't want it, discard it. Discard your attachment to all knowledge. It's all surrounding safety. One that does not know location does not need safety. For what is there to keep safe from harm without location? What is there separate from you without location in your mind? So the clearer you can perceive the idea, the notion, the mental container, the paradigm, the sense of location, the easier it is to recognize that which does not know that location. If you can clearly recognize a thing that is a certain way, it makes it easier in contrast to inquire what is not that certain way. So sense the subject with its sense of location or sense the subject that's based on the sense of location and drop it, drop into the unknown that is not that knowledge. When location goes completely out of the window, there's nothing left of you. There's only God, only bliss, only eternity, only love, only light. Drop the subject, drop location, drop the known. Farther and farther, this is a practice. Go into awareness, shedding all sense of location over and over again. Just shake it off of you like a wet dog. Just instinctively, this is instinctive, this is not intellectual. Get to the sense of location. Get it, get that you always carry with you a sense of location which generates the sense of a me. 
when you sense it, just instinctively, intuitively, however you wish to visualize that or do that, shake it off and no awareness, pristinely, nakedly, free of form, beyond location, as the bliss, love, light that it is.